Hello there, my name is Sajan and I am doing this video as a part of the video series on how to deploy a simple hotspot system using various open source projects namely Kuachili, FreeRadius, HostAPD and Easy Hotspot. And before I get into the installation, I highly recommend you to go through the corresponding blog article provided in the description below so that you can better understand what I am doing here. With that said, let's start the installation. First, uh, I am going to install a dependency for Kubachili called hezrl using sudo apt-get install hezrl and it is just accept password and then the installation begins. What hezrl does is, it is a CGI interpreter which is responsible for serving the web pages for our Kubaj captive portal. I am going to download the Debian package that I have already built and uploaded to Amazon S3 for which I have provided the download link in the description below. Uh, once I duplicate the Debian package, uh, you can see it is only 421 KB in size and then I can install it using dpkg i uh, and don't forget to put sudo before dpkg, that's very critical and it takes a while to install. The availability of this command confirms that our Kubachili has been installed. Let's look at our interface uh, setup. First, uh, my ENP 1S0 is the Ethernet interface and the WLP 2S0 is the wireless interface that I have in my system. Now I will put these interfaces and other configurations in my config. Okay, in the configuration file, here you can see that HS underscore when if equals to ETH0. Now we need to edit it to be ENP 1S0. Then my LAN interface is the wireless interface that is WPL, WLP 2S0. Then I am going to use the IP range of 10.10.10.0 in my hotspot network. Uh, you can set it whatever you like. Uh, we need to also set the DNS server. In this case I am using my same system as the DNS server so that captive portal uh, will work properly with my hotspot alternatively our secondary dns server is set to 8888 then we need to set uh, the passwords for our radius server and uh, um secret passwords and you can set it whatever you like in your environment let's quickly go through the overall configuration of the file uh, for simple setup, we don't need to modify these parameters, but if you are looking for a more advanced or complicated setup, then these parameters might need to be modified according to your requirements. Now let's copy this configuration file into the main kubachindu's configuration file. I mistakenly typed pp instead of cp. Then let's change the another configuration file. It provides a natting. Uh, from your hotspot network to the Ethernet interface to reach the internet. Here, hs underscore when if, uh, if you remember that we set in the earlier configuration file, is our uplink interface that is facing the internet. That's why we are doing this NAT in this interface. Next enable Kubachili to start in the system startup so that we don't have to start it manually whenever the system reboots. We can verify it by just listing the chili command inside slash hc slash init.d. Next we also need to modify another configuration file called slash hc slash default slash chili and we need to set start underscore chili from 0 to 1. Okay with this step completed we now are ready to start our Kuba Chili. We can start it by either doing slash hc slash init.d slash chili start or also we can use systemctl and to verify whether Kuba Chili has been started correctly or not you can do ifconfig and the availability of the interface called ton0 uh, proves that it is running correctly as you can see in the description this tunnel interface is getting the IP that we assigned in our configuration file. Well, this completes the installation of Kuba Chili. In the next videos, we'll cover other parts of the setup. Thank you for watching.